This is a CBS 11 News First Alert Weather Day Update. Meteorologist Aaron Moran not dealing with any severe weather in North Texas as of yet, but we weren't expecting it. We do have some showers, even some heavier rain, a few pockets going on to the east of I-35, kind of from Sulphur Springs to the north of Athens right now. But what we're more concerned with are these storms that have been developing out west. You can see that severe thunderstorm watch well to the north and to the west of our area. But look at this line as it starts to develop and extend a little farther to the south towards the I-20 corridor. We'll continue to see the southward expansion and then we will see these storms track to the east. So we're still looking at an overnight event for most of us. 10 o'clock in the evening, so next hour or so we'll see these storms get a little bit closer to Breckenridge to Graham and then they're going to move to the east. So 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. for our western counties still looks like the Metroplex is in that midnight to 4 a.m. time frame and then watching through about 7 a.m. 3 a.m. to 7 a.m for some of our more eastern counties for this line to continue to track to the east. Wind damage is still going to be the main threat. 70 to 75 mile an hour wind gusts. We're also going to have to watch that tornado threat on the leading edge of these storms. Large hail, a possibility as well, but I think we're especially keeping an eye on that damaging wind threat and the possibility of those brief spin up tornadoes again right along that leading edge. The other big story, of course, you can hear the wind howling. I am sure wind advisory remains in place through 4 a.m. At times we have seen that wind gust in Corsicana over 50 miles an hour. McKinney has had wind gusts today closer to 50 miles an hour, but gusting at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. It is very breezy out there right now. We're watching these southerly winds and then as those storms move in, those winds are going to quickly shift to the west. So again, that's where we're going to have to watch for a little bit of rotation right along that leading edge. We will keep you updated on this. We've still got a couple of hours to go before this line moves into the Metroplex, but we will have coverage starting at 10 o'clock this evening on CBS 11. And of course, you can always get updates by downloading the CBS DFW News app. This has been a CBS 11 News First Alert Weather Day Update.